All right, welcome back. We're doing one more example here on projectile motion. And in this case, we have a person kicking a soccer ball off of a 10 meter ledge here, uh, kicking at an angle of 25 degrees and an initial velocity at 30 meters per second in that direction. Basically, it's going to loft up like this, follow a parabolic path and end up striking the ground down here somewhere. So the question is, where does it land? Like how far away from the cliff does it land or what's like the x component of that? So to get started, we're going to find the x and y components of vi, and uh, we should identify our positive x and positive y directions. But basically we just have vi x is going to be equal to the magnitude of that force of 30 meters per second times the cos of the angle, which is 25, and that is 27.2 meters per second to the right. That is the initial horizontal velocity component of the initial velocity. And VIY is the same thing. It's just 30 times the sine of 25. Um, and that's going to give us 12.7 meters per second up. All right, so you should also grab a formula sheet that has the kinematic equations. Uh, I'm just going to write them right here. And then we want to apply these to the horizontal direction and the vertical direction separately, uh, depending on what exactly we're looking for. So I think to get started, we're going to use this expression in the vertical direction to find flight time. And so in the vertical uh, direction, basically our displacement is coming from here where it's kicked and it's going to reach the ground. So we're going down 10 meters. So this is minus 10 meters. Vi, this is going to be equal to Viy, the initial y velocity, which is equal to positive 12.7 meters per second. Acceleration here, this is uh, g, uh, acceleration due to gravity, so this is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. All right, so let's fill these values in. We have negative 10 meters is equal to 12.7 meters per second times time, plus one half times negative 9.81 meters per second squared times t squared. Uh, what we should do here is just rearrange this so we have all of the terms on one side. So we get 4.905 t squared minus 12.7 t minus 10 is equal to zero. And I've just dropped the units here to make it clear that this is a quadratic. Uh, and basically what we wanna do is we wanna use the quadratic equation to solve for the root. And in this case, the root is actually the letter T. So let's go and do that. Let's fill this out. So we have T is equal to negative B. So that's going to be positive 12.7 plus or minus the square root of B squared. So we have negative 12.7 squared minus 4 times a, which was 4.905, times c, which was negative 10. Let's close that off. And this is all over 2a, so that is 2 times 4.905. And if we just crunch the rest of that, we find that t is equal to 3.2 seconds, or also negative 0.63 seconds. And because we're dealing with time, we know that the negative root is not the right one. Uh, so it actually takes 3.2 seconds for the ball to go up and then come back down and strike the ground. So that's the same amount of time that it takes for it to follow the actual path to go up and come back down and strike the ground. So knowing that, um, basically we know the initial velocity uh, in the horizontal direction is 27.2 meters per second. We know that it has 3.2 uh, seconds of flight time. So we just want to find the kinematic equation that represents that, and that is this one right here. And when we're applying this in the horizontal direction, that means that S here, that is going to be X. Uh, Vav, well, that is going to be equal to Vix because there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction. The acceleration is zero, so the velocity, uh, so the velocity is constant. So the average velocity is the same as the initial velocity. And T is just going to be 3.2 seconds. So we can write all that out. We'll just have x is equal to vix times t, which is equal to 27.2 meters per second times 3.2 seconds. Those seconds cancel out. 27.2 times 3.2 is just basically 87 meters. So there you go.
uh, when this person kicks the ball with those initial conditions uh, from that ledge, it is going to land 87 meters to the right of where it gets kicked on that lower surface.